I just haven't been myself because I have feel, been feeling very, very out of it since the panic attack. Pink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Welcome back to another vlog! It is the next day. I am so, so, so refreshed. I was feeling so tired and dead yesterday. I need to run to the leasing office because I have to let them know about a few things. Um, we have a leaky faucet, so I have to let them know. And there's a few other things that I want to have them update. So, I'm going to go there, talk to them. Also, let me show you guys something. I think I showed you guys this last night. This towel bar for this little bathroom and it actually does not fit on the wall by like a half an inch so I have to take it back. I'm just trying to see am I okay? I mean I feel like I look okay. I got a coupon in the mail. Oh, what a great surprise from Bath and Body Works. So I have some free gifts I need to pick up. Also when I shopped SAS I got a lot of rewards back so I got three rewards back so I need to go and pick that up too. I keep saying like I said like you guys know me. Um did I even do an intro to this video? Holy crap I didn't even do an intro. <laughs> Hi guys what's up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. You know what to do go ahead and click the subscribe button. Today we're going to be kicking off another moving vlog. I am by no means a vlogger. If you're new to my channel I'm an actor, dancer, model, um, so that's what I do. I also work in post-production as well. If you guys want to know more about me, check out some of my other videos there. I did do an about me video that I probably might need to update, but I also have my talent channel, which is always linked in the description below. So if you guys want to, if you're interested in anything about like my professional life and things like that, you're going to want to check out that channel. But this channel is just my lifestyle, fun, hauls, girly channel. So we just moved and this is the second video to that moving series so i want to kick this off for you guys i can't believe i forgot to do an intro <laughs> but yeah that's the intro my bed has not come yet none of my furniture has come yet the only thing that showed up was the fireplace but that that's going in bunny's room and yeah feeling a bit overwhelmed i'm so excited i ordered a chandelier to go there i think i told you guys this in the other vlog but maybe not I ordered a chandelier to go into this is my closet area up in the closet and also a chandelier to go above my bed I am so excited about that going with more of a modern style um, I'm gonna try to infuse modern and glam together and see what I get um, but yeah that's pretty much it bunny got up early today he's making eggs oh lord it's gonna smell like eggs in here I mean, let me just show you guys the living room right now if that's not anxiety I don't know what it is Here's the TV. We bought 255 inches. And it actually fits perfectly above that fireplace. But we forgot to get another mount. So we need to get another mount. And we got one mount. Bunny's room is almost done, actually. Well, not almost. He has a lot done. He's been working on it all morning. Yeah. There he is. There's the TV. He's putting that up right now. He already put the bed up and the nightstand and then we're going to put these shelves up over here actually he's installing the fireplace right now not the tv so the fireplace is going to go down here on this wall and then the tv is going to go above it and then he'll probably put a desk right here in this little nook i like this little nook uh, but not sure yet but that's the update on bunny's room update on the bathroom i showed you guys this the towels and stuff last night we I refolded the towels um, and then I just added this little jar for cotton rounds or cotton balls or q-tips not entirely sure yet and then I showed you guys the soap dispenser set and then I added the aromatherapy magnolia and bergamot candle but that's the bathroom update laundry rooms done um, my camera's about to die you guys so I'm probably gonna switch batteries oh and from here you guys can see the main patio from the laundry room area but I'm gonna put up 
my Valentine's Day wreath. But I want to put the wreath up now. I don't want to wait. tell you guys there was some drama with my storage I had all of my stuff put into storage prior to moving in with Bunny so all of my furniture and everything from my apartment like most of everything I own was in storage and I used a storage company called clutter and I really liked them because they came they pack up your stuff they picked it up and they took it to their facility and you just pay monthly and they'll drop it off to you um, when you're ready however I called to close my account on the 26th of, Jan of January yes the 26th of January my billing date is the 30th the lady told me hey if you close your account three days prior to your billing date then you'll be fine so you're fine just close your account she said you have two drop delivery options the first delivery option is a scheduled delivery where you get to pick the date and the time where they come and drop it off and it's but we're gonna charge you a fee for that she said and then your second option is a flexible delivery date where you don't get to charge a fee at all I said well, what's the time frame she said between now and February 8th she says well they're gonna call you three days before they drop it off and make sure that you're gonna be home and what time you drop it off I said okay no problem guys yesterday I'm doing all of my financials and I look at my bank account and I see that they have charged me for another month and also I haven't heard anything from the moving company granted it's only uh, today is February 2nd so they have like a few more days like they have till the 5th to let me know but I just found it really really strange like I didn't hear anything from them and then my account was charged for the month of February something said Zuri you should call them and find out what's going on so I called them and number one the lady was so rude to me I explained to her I said I just curious as to why my why I'm getting charged for an extra month when I canceled my service she's she's like well first of all you need to understand that just because you call and cancel with us doesn't mean that um, you're not gonna be charged I said but I closed my account and when I spoke to the rep they told me if I close it three days before my due date that you guys wouldn't charge me and she was like you need to understand it has nothing to do with when you close your account it's by the delivery date so if our if our uh, movers don't schedule your delivery until after the 30th then we're gonna charge you because we're still storing your stuff until they're ready to pick it up and deliver it I said so you're telling me I did everything I was supposed to do I called closed my account on time so I wouldn't be billed for the next month and because your drivers have not scheduled a delivery until after the 30th you're gonna charge me but the, how is that my fault she was like because it's your fault because you chose the flexible delivery option I said but when I spoke to you guys on the phone when I was closing my account you did not mention that if your drivers decided to deliver the items after the 30th after the billing cycle that I would be getting charged an additional month she was like well see ma'am this is where the wires are getting crossed you're not understanding what I'm saying I'm like well hold on hold on hold on I, I hear what you're saying but try to understand what I'm saying she continued you guys to talk over me and so I said okay well you know what I'm getting really upset because I don't think this is fair. I think you should be transparent with your customers. Even when I was looking on the website to choose a delivery option, it did not state that if the delivery driver chose to schedule the delivery after 
the billing cycle that I would be charged for that. I said, because if that was the case, I would have paid the fee, scheduled my items to be delivered when I wanted them to. I've been waiting for my items to get delivered to me past the time that I've, I've wanted to wait. And now you're telling me you're char also charging me an additional month on top of delivery fees, you guys. They're charging me like $300 in delivery fees. Then they're also charging me $200 for, that, for a month of storage that I'm not storing my stuff in because they're dropping it off. I've already closed my account. They're dropping it off on the 8th. So she goes, well, you know what? The only thing I can do for you right now is I can, you can, you're more than welcome to keep your stuff in storage longer for the whole month. Like no one's telling you, you have to have it delivered by the 8th. You're the one requesting your stuff gets delivered as soon as possible. I'm like, right, because I don't need the storage anymore. I want my items and I did everything that I was supposed to do. I say, you know what, I, I don't want to go back and forth with you. I don't want to argue. I don't want to, like, I, I, you, I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to plead my case. You're talking over me. You're not being sensitive to what I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you. You guys were not transparent. Your website did not state that I would be getting charged an additional month. When I spoke to you on the phone, you did not explain to me that I would be getting charged an additional month. I think it's very sneaky. I think it's very dishonest of your company. And I would like to speak to either a manager or a corporate I would like to escalate this because this is not right I said even if even if I don't get my money back someone should know that this is a problem going forward with other customers she said well you know what uh, there's nothing I can do about that there is no corporate there is no corporate number. I said so you're telling me that you're a small business and you have no there's no way for me to escalate this there's no corporate no corporate contact she was like I'm your corporate contact I'm like so I say, okay, wait, this does not make sense. I said, most companies that are corporate, they have a support, a support department, someone to help with customer relations, someone to help with assisting in issues and resolutions. You're telling me that there's nothing you can do for you, do for me. She talks over me, you guys, like, who does that? I've worked in customer service for years. I've never talked over a customer. She's like, well, what I can do for you is I can give you a $45 credit towards your move. $45 credit towards my move? Lady, you're charging me $300 to drop off my items to begin with. You also already charged my car $200 for an additional month I'm not going to be utilizing. And now you want to give me $45? I was like, yeah, see, that's not going to work for me. And so I need to talk to someone else. I need help. If you can't help me, I need to talk to someone who can help me. And she's like... As I told you, there's no resolution. I'm corporate. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to me. I said, so then you're the only one working at, at your company and you guys are corporate? I said, this has to be a small business. It's not a small business. I'm your corporate contact. I said, so corporate answers the phones? I don't think so. There's nothing else I can do. That's the options you have. Take it or leave it. I said, you know what? This is the worst service I've ever received. I was so upset, you guys. I and Bunny was sitting right next to me. I I just hung up the phone and then I called back because right after I hung up, I called back because I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to ask her if. Um, I'm sorry, this lady was asking me if she could get in, um, and so I was just letting talking like signaling her. Um, she called back. I called her back and I asked. I wanted to speak to her again because I didn't want to talk to anybody else because you guys know when you have like a cus an issue and you have a complaint how if you call you'll get multiple representatives and then you have to explain to them the same thing over and over again and I was so frustrated you guys I'm like I'm not explaining this to anyone else so I called back um, to ask you know what I don't trust you guys you have my items you're not delivering my items in, until you're ready to deliver them and then you're charging me that is not fair I want my items immediately that's what I call back to say I don't care about the charge I don't care about anything else return me my items now before I lose my mind so I called back and another girl picked up she was a nice like night and day like the first person I talked to versus the new girl night and day the new girl was silent she said go ahead what's going on she listened to everything I had to say she was like I do understand that and I feel really bad because I do care and I do
do understand that like you did not know and that that wasn't explained to you and it's totally not your fault and if it was me I would be upset too and she's like let me try and see what I can do to resolve this she says I see the notes in the system that, that Taryn wrote here for your account I said yeah well I don't trust the notes that Taryn wrote because the notes that Taryn wrote are completely I don't know what she said about me all I know is that she was super rude to me and all I was trying to do was um get my items I already paid you guys like just give me my items and so anyways to make a long story short I'm about to go into Dollar Tree so um, I'm here so I'm just gonna speed up this story really quick um so she was so super nice you guys she listened to everything I had to say anytime she wanted to say something she would be like oh I'm sorry I don't mean to cut you off you know but I want to give you these options I want to tell you what I would suggest she was like she totally didn't give you the correct information you can't escalate the issue um, we do have a team that handles issues like this she was like I'm sending you an email right now I suggest you fill out the form in its entirety and then also send an email with the form so she she gave me all the information I need to do she said it takes about two to four days for somebody to get back to you and ha resolve the issue and she was just so super nice and she just kept apologizing she's like I feel so freaking bad because you sound like you're a nice person and you just got treated mistreated and I and that's not what we're about she's like I'm sorry about the miscommunication with my associate and I said well what's your associate's name because when I talked to a manager I said she told me that there was no manager there was no corporate and if she was the only one she was like that's not true we do have managers um, I said, well, I would definitely like to report her to her manager. So what's her name? She's like, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to like do that. Like I'm her coworker. I can't really give out her information like that. I said, that's okay. I believe Bunny, thank God Bunny was right there laying next to me on the floor because he heard her say, oh my God, you guys, my nose is red. That's how upset this whole issue made me. Like you guys, I felt like I was going to cry. Like you have my items and you're charging me and you're telling me you can't deliver my items. Thank God you guys, Bunny was laying right there on the floor because he was like, the girl's name was Taryn. I remember her name was Taryn. I was like, perfect. I wrote down her name. I was like, I'm going to write down your name too. I'm going to explain everything in detail of what happened with me. I was like, but what about me getting my items? She was like, to be honest with you, Zuri, I can't tell you what to do with that situation. But my suggestion is you should probably not cancel your pickup. She said, the only thing you could do is you can cancel your flexible option pickup. I can cancel that for you here. And then you can reschedule it for a scheduled date so you can get it on the day that you want, um, which might be better for you. But then again, I said, so, but will I be charged? She's like, right. Then again, like, they already charged you for the extra month. And to be honest with you, just I'm telling you this is the busiest time of the year. I'm looking at our calendar. You probably won't get your items. Even if you schedule it, you probably won't be able to schedule it until after the 8th. So it's up to you if you want to take that chance or if you just want to wait for your items to get delivered on the 8th and um, put in a customer care uh, email complaint. So that's what I did, you guys. So I just wanted to tell you guys that drama. I will definitely keep you guys updated on what happens um, with the situation, but it just stressed me out so much because it's like, you have all of my belongings in your possession. You refuse to deliver it to me until the date that you choose to deliver it. You chose to deliver it after the, after the billing cycle, which you didn't have to do. I gave you guys a whole week to deliver those items. You could have delivered them at any time and you chose to deliver them after the billing cycle. And then you also charged me for you choosing to bill me to schedule it after the billing cycle. And then I just felt like I would have been so much more patient and the, the situation would have been so much better if she wouldn't have had an attitude with me, the first girl, Taryn. If she wouldn't have had an attitude with me and she wouldn't have talked over me and she wouldn't have 
just treated me like I was a stupid, dumb customer and just like, this is the way that it is. And if you don't like it, then that's just you. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have chose that delivery option. It's like, well, I wouldn't have chose that delivery option if I was explained all of the details of the option. I made the decision off of the pretenses that I had all of the details and information, which your company did not deliver when you explained to me my options. So no, I did not make uh, this decision. I didn't make it in in its entirety because I didn't know the outcome of the situation, of the decisions that I have to make. I heard free delivery. I was like, okay, cool. Am I going to be charged a fee for anything? You said no. And then you charged me an extra month. <sighs> you guys, let me calm down. Okay. So anyways, you guys, I'm so stressed. Usually I'm not like this, but this, this move has put me in such a crazy situation. Really quick, I do wanna talk a little bit about health. Like, you guys, stress is real. Make sure that you keep your health in order. On Saturday, I didn't mention this, but you guys probably saw in my last, my first video or my last video, that I was really, really, really tired and exhausted. And I just kept saying I was tired and exhausted. Well, you guys, the day of the move, I actually ended up going into the ER. And, um, I went into the ER because I had a panic attack and at 3 30 in the morning I had a panic attack on Friday night and we called the paramedics the paramedics came and they pretty much just like sat with me went through breathing exercises and it was pretty much like there's really nothing we can do this is a panic attack you really need to go see your primary care physician um, it was the scariest thing of my life you guys I could not breathe my heart felt like it was beating out of my chest. My entire body felt like pins and needles poking all over it. I was dizzy. I felt the strong sense of nausea, like I had to throw up. Everything was spinning. I couldn't feel my tongue, my feet. I, it was the worst thing. And so the next morning, I thought I would feel better because he told me, get some rest you're obviously stressed out I can see you have anxiety I was shaking like a leaf the next morning I thought I would feel better and I got in the shower and I almost fainted in the shower you guys I called a lift and I took myself to the emergency room and they took care of me for a while to drew some blood did some other things um, and now I have an appointment on Friday morning with my primary care doctor to go over like medication and stuff like that. But just take care of yourselves, you guys. Like, I know everyone's like talking about coronavirus and getting sick and stuff. Your mental health and anxiety and stress and all that stuff is just as deadly and is just as serious as COVID. So just make sure you guys that you keep your mind healthy and you keep yourself in a healthy state because I just couldn't believe I was having a panic attack. Like I was like, what is happening to me? Why, 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 why am I feeling like this? Um, but yeah, you guys, that's why I, I seemed a little bit stressed and um, sitting in the car, but I need to get out. That's why I seemed a little bit stressed out and just really tired. And like, you guys can see, like, I've been wearing my hair in a bun for like the past, since we've moved. Like, I haven't straightened my hair. I haven't worn makeup. I just haven't been myself because I have feel, been feeling very, very out of it since the panic attack. But to be honest, you guys, I didn't really feel anxious when that panic attack came on. Like it literally came on out of nowhere. But what I will say is what I think triggered it was when we were moving, the entire apartment was a mess. It was so cluttered. There was boxes everywhere. There was furniture turned upside down. There was like nowhere to sleep in the apartment. And I was squished on this little couch with all of this stuff around me. And I think that might have been what triggered it because I'm claustrophobic. And I think I was, I can remember when I was falling asleep, I was like telling myself, turned off all the lights and telling myself, you're in an open space, just stay relaxed, stay relaxed. And so I think that's what triggered it. But anyways, you guys, I didn't mean to go on a 20 minute rant about any of this stuff, but I just really want to update you guys on what's been going on. So yeah, now I'm gonna go inside of the Dollar Tree. Um, 
there's quite a few projects we have to do like I said we're gonna clean the closet we're just gonna work on organizing everything hopefully all of my furniture and stuff will show up oh you guys I got my package today for the over the toilet organizer so we're gonna put that up when I get done when I get done when I get home um, because I have a lot of beauty care like soap and body wash and bath and body work stuff on the counter and it's time to put that away so we're just gonna be doing some organizing today pretty much guys and running some errands um there was a few repairs um so when you move into an apartment you guys probably already know they give you like a move in inventory list where which is everything that they checked off in the apartment and then you go in and if you notice anything that is broken or needs repair or anything like that you check it off so there was a few things that i noticed that i wanted fixed the mirror in the guest bathroom is the silvering so around the edges so i would like them to replace that there is a lining on the hardwood floors in the kitchen and by the entryway that is broken and like is coming up it's lifting so I would like them to replace that. Um, the sink in the kitchen is leaking. It's a brand new faucet, but it looks like maybe someone installed it really quickly and, and didn't do something right. So I'm having them come back down and look at that as well as what else? Oh, there's a cabinet in the kitchen, like a shelf in the kitchen cabinet that's just, it's not completely put in correctly. So it keeps tipping over and so we're, I'm having them come fix that. Anyways, you guys, I, I know I sound like a really super picky person, but when, you, when you're working hard and you're spending your hard-earned money for a really nice apartment or a really nice condo in a really nice area, you should make sure that you're taken care of and that what you get is what you pay for. Like, I'm paying you all this money. I want to make sure everything is... Also, I asked them if they could update the cabinets in the kitchen and throughout the, the condo, if they could give it a new coat of paint. And she was kind of like, the landlady was kind of like, I don't think the owner is gonna allow us to paint his wood. And I was like, really? She's like, what color? And I was just like, white, just a plain white, like in the laundry room and all the rest of the doors are white. And she was just like, yeah, I don't, I don't think he'll let us do that. And I was like, well, please ask him and let us know if there's anything we can do to change his mind. Because the cabinets are re like dated and it would be nice to have like an updated cabinets. Um, but I told her, I was like, it's okay if you can't. But if she comes back and says he won't allow them to paint them then I'm going to go buy cabinets I'm going to unhinge all of his cabinets and I'm going to put them in the storage area and I'm going to hinge new cabinets on and when we move out we'll hinge his back on you guys I just I have a vision and I'm gonna do what I need to do to get the vision taken care of but anyways let me go on to the Dollar Tree uh, I'm so sorry you guys I had to tell you that horrible story and all that happened this morning by the way there's plenty of good things that are happening we finally got everything most of everything organized um, I went through a couple of bins and organized some stuff that I'm gonna put in my new storage by the way i'm getting a small storage close by to store like christmas and holiday decor and just stuff we don't use all the time like stuff we just use on occasion or for holidays or vacation so but i don't want to get this storage when i'm paying for another month of storage at this other place plus paying for delivery it just doesn't make any sense and i just hope that they call me back like the maintenance man is coming by today to fix all of that stuff and then they're gonna send a plumber to look at the sink which I'm not a plumber um, but I don't think you need a plumber to come and look at this faucet leaking I feel like that's something that like handyman should be able to fix because I think it's just like the the sink wasn't properly installed or maybe it's something loose I don't think that there's anything wrong with the pipes but that's it, let me go inside. I keep saying that, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so things are getting a lot better. I just left the Dollar Tree. I had to go to a second Dollar Tree because the first one didn't have what I was looking for. I also stopped at the 99 cent store. I thought I stopped recording you guys, but 
I'm headed back home now so I can do my work. I need to stop at Target really fast and pick up something for Bunny and then that's pretty much it, you guys. Okay, I hope that's enough light, you guys. All right, so I'm back home. The handyman just left and I put some stuff away, but I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. We're about to begin organizing. I got this like storage organizer with like drawers in it and I thought that this would be good to go like underneath my sink. Then I wanted to get some organizers for inside of the drawers in the bathroom. So I'm going to use these two. Um, and I got these from the Dollar Tree. I also got this shower curtain liner. Even though our shower has a door and the tub has a door too, um, I still want to put up my cute white shower curtain when it comes. If it comes, God willing, storage brings me my stuff. So I got a liner for it. Do not sleep on the Dollar Tree. Those stores will help you when you move in, especially if it's your first place. This isn't my first place, but I always go to the Dollar Tree for essential items. I got two packs of Q-tips and these are the safety swab Q-tips because when I was younger, I was had a Q-tip in my ear and the door hit the Q-tip. My What am I trying to say? I was cleaning my ear at the Q-tip and I took my hand down and the bathroom door hit the side of my head and the Q-tip went in. and. It, uh, it's a cringy story, but ever since then, I like to use the safety ones. Then I also got this pack of three little baskets. They're white. I felt like that was a neutral color. I think they also had these in, in like colorful colors, like blacks, red, and blue, but I just got the white. And then from 99 cent store. Now, you guys, 99 cent store doesn't always everything's not 99 cents just to clear that up some things are a little bit more than 99 cents um so this is one of those things i got this five piece mini deco basket um it's marketed for the desk but i thought this would be nice to put in drawers as well um i thought maybe i could use this big one probably in the kitchen i just thought that this was a great organizer for drawers and i could figure out something to do with it and that one was 4.99 then i got this little basket this was 2.99 in white you guys i was just picking up every organizational thing i could find and then i got four of these little white baskets or not little but medium size these were 1.99 um, and I'm gonna put these underneath the sink in the bathroom to store like hair products, cleaning products, stuff like that. And then you guys can see that is my organizer right there that we are about to build and put in the bathroom. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get to that now. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this. I got this in from Walmart yesterday. Um, it's just like this pink um, Moroccan themed pillowcase and I thought it was going to be super light because that's what it looked like online. I got it from Walmart but it didn't. It came pretty dark but I think it's okay. I think I can use it on the wicker chair or seating on the balcony. Um, it's really cute when it's a pillow. I might even sew some beads on it to make it really really pretty and decorative but it matches the theme of my patio, which is Moroccan. Um, you guys have already seen, I think you've seen the table. Well, you're sitting on the table, but you've seen this lantern. It's gonna go with this. Um, we're actually sitting right here by the patio now. I don't know, or I might return it. I don't know, I have to see how it looks. I'm not really feeling that too attached to it. I think it was like $15 though. Let me show you guys the table. Okay, you guys, so here is the little Moroccan table that I'm going to be putting out on the patio with a chair. I think this pillowcase will look good with it. So I think I'm gonna go with this. Let's just start organizing. Let's shut our mouths and start. You guys, I also forgot to show you this. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. It's just like a um, 
It's the liner. What am I saying? This is the liner. And I got this one for the two little drawers. I had already purchased a bunch of big white liners from the Walmart by me. Um, but I wanted the drawers to have something a little bit different. What is that? Let me turn on this light. Yeah. I want the drawers to be a little bit cuter. So I got this like really pretty white and tan floral print and i got this from the dollar tree and it had tons of sizes and colors so if you guys are looking for liners to line your drawers and cabinets check out dollar tree so here are the drawers you guys see it's just they're old you know i'm gonna paint them um but first i want to put the liners in and i've already lined the bottom of the cabinets there bunny are you all right with white so oh my god the sink in here is leaking we're finding a whole bunch of things that we need to get fixed the good thing is they're really quick about fixing them packages 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 you guys amazon is here yes packages what is it something for scott and something for zuri that's amazing. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Bunny's probably so annoyed with me. Yeah. Look at him. He has his own stuff going on. Like, he's putting together his room and he's got a 55 inch TV to install that we picked up the other day at Target. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got, um,. A fireplace that I really wanted to get so I got that so he's gonna install that and he has a lot of stuff to install he has another TV to install in the living room another 55 inch he's got two um, so he's waiting on his drill to come in it just came in he wanted to get a new drill so now he's about to start installing his stuff and I'm gonna finish organizing mm -hmm. Drawers aligned. This one, I had to cut some funny stuff. I don't know. But, sorry. Drawers aligned. Going to do, going to do, where is the life I, where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know, I don't know. This is what I'm working with. I have, I put the big basket there. I'm thinking that I could put like um, cleaning, bathroom cleaning products in there. Cause I have like this Myers cleaner that I can put in there or maybe hair care. I have a lot of hair care stuff. So that basket would be good. And then two more on that side. So that's how I organized it. Now we are going to start Filling those baskets.
guys my rug came in i think i showed you guys this so i want to kind of open it and see what it's looking like these are going into the other shelving thing that i have to build oh shoot look at all this bathroom stuff you guys i got nail polish stuff i gotta put away oh i forgot all about my wax pot but i know where i can put that okay so we do have an awful lot of stuff to do i'm not entirely sure but mm. let's try it But I have to stay afloat It's not easy Be a person you don't want Can somebody Take me other thing Going to do Going to do Where is the life I Where is my shy head Is this called living I don't know I don't know Where is the life I I think I'm in love. I'm not sure that this is like the right way that I want it or if I want it in here or somewhere else because it is quite big. But I love the rug. Like, I love it. Guys, look at it. It's a circle. Oh my god, you guys. I think that I'm in love with this rug. I just love the colors. You can't really see it because it's dark in here. It's so cute and it's the perfect pink. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, I got this from Walmart if you guys are wondering. But I think I am going to go ahead and get the square rug to go in the actual bedroom underneath my bed because this is so cute. Okay, you guys, let me get started on building this before it gets too dark. Oh, you know what? That's what that box is. I was wondering what this box is. This is my chandelier. This is my bedroom chandelier. So this will be going up, put the storage thing together. So I'm just gonna show you guys when I'm finished and it's up in the bathroom, okay? Yeah, it'll just be easier. <laughs> but I am so obsessed with this rug. Like you guys, what? I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I love it. I hate these lights, but don't worry, you guys. I'm gonna paint it. We're gonna, we're gonna get it together. Several hours later, and she's up. She is. Let me zoom out. Oh, I am zoomed out. Finally got her up. She's a little cricket, so I'll have to move her over this way. There is a way to attach it to the wall, but I'm not going to do that tonight. This took me so long, you guys, to put up, but man, who? Who needs a man when you have a Zuri? She does it all on her own, but yeah, I just ordered some California pizza kitchen, so I'm going to eat that, and then I'm going to pack this cabinet with all of that junk, and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay.
like the LED press lights underneath here. Um, I'm gonna order them on Amazon right now. So yeah, I got these from Amazon. They're like rose gold um, and crystal. I got these for the kitchen, but I think I'll have more than enough. So I'm not really... I put this swan. I think I've hauled this before. I got this from Home Goods. It's a pink swan, but look, she has a little scrubber inside of her, and that is for to clean the tub. Um, and then I added this vase that I got from Hobby Lobby with a little flower in it. Um, this probably will change a million and one times, uh, but for now, it's it's fine. But it'll probably change. Just so you guys know. I also was playing around with these flowers, maybe a different vase with these pink flowers in there. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> you like it, you hate it. I feel like it's better than the white, or did you like the white flower better? I feel like this white and white was clashing and it needed the pink. I'm also gonna get like a toilet seat cover and a rug. Speaking of rugs, I'm gonna actually put my rug down um, and you guys can watch me do that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Okay, guys, that's the rug. I put it on this size, I feel like it makes sense. I don't feel like, now that this is installed, I don't feel like there's any reason to come out of the shower this way. I could see me opening it and starting the shower over here, but then coming out when I'm done this way. And then I'm also going to exchange that towel rod for a smaller size. If I can't, maybe I might be able to find it on Amazon. Oh, maybe I might be able to find a copper one, like a rose gold one to match these and just put it there. That might be, that might be the deal. Um, yeah, so I'll put the rod right there. So there's a towel there, rug there. Um, but yeah, it's coming together little by little. I also need a shower caddy and I also am gonna get one of those standing shower caddies too to go in the corner because i have a lot of like hair care stuff and bunnies uses the shower more than i do so he's gonna probably put some of his stuff in there too all right you guys so now i'm just gonna start organizing the closets i think and just trying to get all of my clothes done that's gonna be so boring you guys don't need to see that so i'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna start the vlog with that um as you can see the closet is completely in shambles but i got these juicy couture hangers from home goods and they were 13 dollars um and there's a pack of 30 so i thought that was really good i got two packs i'm gonna definitely need more so i'll end up going back to home goods on thursday because a new home goods is going to be opening up by me in burbank so i'm a little happy about that so i'll probably pick up some hangers then the other question is do i want to get a dresser and if i do need a dresser where would that dresser go um i don't necessarily want to put it on this wall i kind of want to put shelves there um i also have a vanity i have a lot of crap but a lot of it i'm going to get rid of in sales so you guys make sure you check the description box below because I will have my Poshmark link below. I'm going to be selling a lot of stuff. A lot of the stuff in my storage, cute, girly, pink, white, and silver, gold type of stuff. If you're interested in any of that, just comment below and let me know. I'll send you guys the link to where I'm selling it at. This right here, this whole sink situation is giving me mad anxiety. I'm going to try to do something with this tonight. And I'll show you guys what... The result is tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.